Welcome to the best way to smoke weekly news, sponsored by none other than the glue guy. We rolling up, stop smoking spit. Spit. No drip lip. And this news is being presented to you by none other than Serpo Jr. Big J. The biggest pot dispensary in California has collapsed. I highly doubt that. But according to certain sources, this spring, rumors were swirling that Herb L, one of California's largest you cannabis right, <laughs> distribution companies, was on the verge of collapse. So Mike Bundry, the company CEO, sent out the email on May 18th declaring that these rumors are categorically not true. Hmm, told you. Her bell continues to be fully operational. Less than a month later, her bell had completely collapsed. Damn. Hmm. Out of front, huh? Out of They ain't got no more OG in there, so they like, fuck it. Her bell. <laughs> her bell's failure <laughs> left a trail of damage that hurt small pop brands and, and shorted the state some $17 million in unpaid taxes. Her bell is only the latest high-flying California pot startup to crumble, following companies like Flocana, which raised $175 million in a capital only to collapse. Hmm. The Mad Man, no, the Mad Men, the California startup that earned a billion-dollar uh, valuation, calling it the Apple Store of the Weed, only to find itself this year on the brink of financial ruin. Hmm. Man, gotta go to them little spots that I guess is opposite of the word legal. Get that bomb. Get that bomb. Moving on. Massive fire at Palm Desert Cannabis Operation under investigation. Palm Desert, California, an intense fire overnight at a Palm Desert Cannabis Operation sent flames and heavy smoke across the region and injured one civilian. Okay, well, at least it's just one. It's not multiple. The blaze was reported at 8, 18 p.m. Tuesday at 730-818 Dana Shore Drive. The commercial building has a conditional use permit in place for cannabis manufacturing. According to Cal Fire, Riverside County Fire Department Division Chief Todd Hopkins, witness, witnesses told the agency an explosion was heard when the blaze broke out. Huh. A civilian suffered minor hand and arm burns in the fire and was sent, I was just thinking, conspiracy. No, I'm just <laughs> uh, was sent a local to a local hospital, Hopkins said. Firefighter remained on scene through the night to quell the blaze which remains under investigation. So look, I'm not going to speculate. It is what it is. It was a fire. You man. know, it was a fire. Is that telling if you give them like the time and the address of where this shit man. happened? Man, they already did, huh? They got oh, it. damn it, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Cottonwood Prescott Valley Marijuana Dispensary Products Test Positive for Mold. Damn. An Arizona marijuana dispensary with locations in Cottonwood and Prescott Valley has issued a voluntary recall after some of its products tested positive for mold. The Arizona De uh, Department of Health and Services says the Nirvana Center issued the recall from Grim Reefer Products, specifically uh, batch number such and such, PHX such and such. Uh, the product tested positive for, ah, damn, aspergillus, a common type of mold that can- You hit that though, cuz. I mean, you hit that, cuz, <laughs> That's Broke right. That shit down into a syllable. Oh, everything. You know asparagus. <laughs> yeah. Asperger. Yep. Yep. A common type of mold that can cause allergic reaction or illness, usually in individuals uh, who are already sick. Symptoms can range from asthma and cold-like symptoms to fever and chest pain. Uh, Nirvana uh, Center has eight locations across the state. State health officials say dispensaries has removed any potentially impacted products from the store shelves. 
ADHS, no, ADHS, yes, says the recall was made out of caution that there have been no reports of illness. That's mm. crazy. It is. I don't even know what to say about that because some motherfucker be taking shrooms, you know what I'm saying? It ain't shit but mold like a motherfucker. Fungus. Mold and fungus. Yeah. Yeah. But hey, I don't want that shit in my weed, though. Man, not at all. Moving on. New Hampshire cannabis consumption fails to reach agreement on legalization plan. A New Hampshire commission formed to create a cannabis legalization plan for the state held its final meeting this week for failed to but failed to produce <laughs> any recommendations after months of de de deliberation. The 19-member commission convened this summer to consider a plan to legalize cannabis for adults under a program that would see retail sales of weed handled by state-run cannabis shops similar to New Hampshire's model for alcohol. We talked about that before, mm -hmm. right? you know what I'm saying? But after months of discussions about a draft legislative proposal from Republican Senator Darrell Abbas, the commission ended its work on Monday without adopting the plan or issuing any recommendations. Some, yeah, damn it, Bobby. Some members of the panel placed blame for the commission's failure to reach a census of a proposal on Republican Governor John Sununu, who has opposed the legalization. I said that right, too, though. Mm -hmm. at the, who has opposed the legalization of recreational marijuana for years. Earlier this year, however, Sununu said, <laughs> that reminds me of, I got, I got a homegirl named, named Nunu. <laughs> <laughs> Said, said he would consider a legalization plan that put the control of cannabis dispensaries in the hands of state li liquor commissions. Huh, that's interesting. Which would oversee shops run by franchises selected by the state. The governor also threatened to reject any legislative plan that did not meet his specifications. Hmm, so I mean, we up to something. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know. It don't. Something just don't smell right, though, with that. You know what I'm He's saying? Leaving it up to the states. Yeah, he's leaving it up to the states, and and and, and talking about like regulating it. I mean, you know, kind of like how alcohol is, like alcohol sales, though. But I don't know, man. Just hey, pay attention. All right, it's a new, new. It's a new, new. Moving on. Best tells farmers to grow hemp or weed, but not both. Hemp farmers in several states are being told by the U.S. Department of Agriculture that they can grow cannabis or hemp, but not both, according to a report from Political. Thousands of farmers from coast to coast saw the 2018 Farm Bill's legalization of hemp agriculture as a new avenue to profitable, no, yeah, to profitab <laughs> profitability for the operations. And as the legalization of marijuana has continued to spread across the country, some hemp farmers are seeing new opportunities in growing weed under cannabis program regulated by the state. But that business plan is now in jeopardy as the Department of Agriculture has informed grower, growers in several states that their federal license to grow hemp is subject to cancellation if the farmers continue to cultivate both hemp and marijuana. Come on now. <laughs> all it needed was the man. The disconnect between U.S. federal and state laws pertaining to cannabis will continue to create unfair barriers for industry participants until cannabis become federally legal. This is an example of the unexpected hurdles and the industry is continuing to be faced with. Uh, Boot Ram writes in the email. The fact that the U.S. Department of Agriculture is revoking hemp licenses for farmers who were given the choice to grow cannabis in states where it's legal is, in my opinion, as ridiculous as legally being able to sell hemp derived THC, such as Delta 8. You low key snitching. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, hmm. Let's get it right, man. Just federally legalize this shit and we wouldn't have to deal with none of these type of things. That's what we do. That's what we do. That's what we do.